Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. And uh, look at what I have here. A lovely Triumph Speedmaster Bonneville 1200. And I can't wait to jump on this. I absolutely love the look of this. Uh, yeah, out on the cruiser again. Uh, becoming quite a regular, isn't it, with the cruisers? But yeah, anyway, let's jump on and uh, see what she's all about. Right, side stand. Nice and easy there, no problems. Keys on the side here. Turn her on, she springs into life. Uh, just fueled her up, no issues with the fueling. No problems there at all. Clutch in. Listen to that rumble. Whoa. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, this is the cruiser. So you've got the feet forward foot pegs, which I generally get used to that quite quickly. Uh, the bars are drooped forward towards me, uh, which is unusual. Anyway, it's enough about that waffle. Let's get rolling. Very comfortable. Very, very, very comfortable. Right. Which way do we go here? We'll go this way. Now actually, we'll go the other way. Just sample a few different uh, types of road. They get nice and easy, just like sort of gel with the bike a little bit. Indicator off, no self-cancelling indicators on this baby. Yeah, she's plodding along nicely. It's got a little gear indicator there as well. Sort of a dual, dual purpose uh, clock there. Little bit of analog, little bit of digital going on there very nice indeed so anyway yeah let's let's have a little discussion about the bike uh, I will pull over in a bit and I'll go through the full specs of the bike in the usual sort of manner uh, but anyway yes yeah, so a liquid cooled um, 1200cc single over uh, single overhead cam 8 valve uh, with this is with a 270 degree crank angle as well you get a lovely lovely sound from this engine Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Quite happy just chugging along there. Yeah, the weight of the bike, uh, 263 kilograms. That's the wet weight. Again, you can't feel any of the weight on these bikes nowadays. It's all very low down. And uh, first impressions, it's pleasurable to ride as usual. Quality uh, build from Triumph. It's not the, not the best of days today, it'd be nice to see the sunshine, but it doesn't look like uh, that's going to happen. As long as it doesn't rain, it's the main thing, as long as it doesn't rain. Uh, this bike comes in three different colours, I believe. This is the jet black one. I think it starts off at around 11,850 yeah, 11, according to the, uh, the Triumph, the official Triumph website. Which really, it's a lot of bike for the money. Full LED lighting on this bike as well. Here we go, hold on. Sounds absolutely gorgeous this. Yeah, he's looking at the bike. Mirrors, very, very good visibility through them mirrors. Very good, no vibrations there at all, nothing. Very crisp view, directly behind you. Can't really see your elbows and your shoulders in there either, which is sort of a bit of a bugbear of mine, but yeah. Clutch is very, very light on the old fingers there. I think this has got the um, the torque assist clutch. So uh, it's very noticeably you can pull that in with, with uh, your little finger. We'll get on the old nationals and we'll wind her on a bit. We'll, we'll open her up and see what she's all about. Uh, yeah, it's giving you just under 77 brake horsepower, uh, around 6,100 RPM which we'll sample a little bit of that in a bit. Uh, 106 Newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. What I say, I will pull over and I will give you a full walk around of the bike, so uh, don't go anywhere yet. And uh, we'll uh, see what she's all about. Cool, very torquey. You can feel that, uh, that torque there. But I say, the engine's a 1200, the, uh, the high torque engine which I believe is, um, you know, uh, I think it's, I'll be right in saying it's the same engine as uh, the Bobber and the, the T120, just different maps I believe, different maps, uh, you know, anyway, 
uh, yeah, first impressions of the uh, the Bonneville Speedmaster. Very nice, very nice. Very comfortable position. Very, the seat is very comfy. Seat eye on this is 705 millimeter. So uh, yeah, you're not going to have too many issues there with that. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I love all these linkages as well. I'll show you all that when we go do the walk around of the bike. You've got the gear shift linkage. You know, this being the foot, uh, the feet forward cruiser. Not to lean over too far. I don't want to be scraping the pegs. That's one thing we don't want to do. <laughs> Lots of chrome on the on this. Lots of chrome. Uh, so yeah, give you something to do on a Sunday afternoon. Plenty of chrome to polish. Two into two exhaust, stainless steel. Um, I think it's twin skin, so it hides the catalytic converter, you know, in the inside the exhausts. Two into two. Uh, the, yeah, the stainless steel chromed, chromed exhausts. Very nice. Sounds, it does actually sound amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, much appreciated for the loan of the bike today. In order to bring you this review. Thanks for that triumph. Like I say, could you see yourself going out and test riding one? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you see yourself on one of these? I'm a little bit of a cruiser convert, really. After riding um, several several of these cruisers, something that I never thought I'd be uh, kind of into. But I think the more and more you ride these, the more enjoyable of a ride it becomes. You know, you just sit back, relax, soak in the scenery and um, very comfortable as well very nice riding position here got the wind blowing up my trousers, uh, my jeans <laughs> which is quite nice could do with a bit of sunshine like I said but we can't have everything can't have everything can we we'll test the brakes out in a bit once uh, well, we've got a bit of traffic behind me at the moment Whoa. So that sounds absolutely amazing I think you have to be on the bike to uh, appreciate that. I don't know if the old um, microphone is picking it up as well as I can hear it. 263 kilo, but you wouldn't know. It's very, very flickable. Let's try the brakes, front brakes. Yeah, not bad, very good. It's got the twin, uh, twin caliper. 300. 10 millimeter I believe discs on the front with twin pop brembos and a 255 single disc on the rear with a Nissan single pop caliper good morning sir two rider modes on here road and rain we're on, currently on road at the moment you can just see it there uh, it also has cruise control which I believe is one touch to turn her on, we'll have a go. That's cruise control on, so the cruise control is on now. One touch to turn it on, one touch for the hold to speed, and I think one touch to cancel. Oh. So yeah, cruise control you can um, benefit from that one. You know, on your, on your obviously on your longer runs. So also, I believe 70, 70. Uh, accessories through Triumph through the official Triumph website ranging from all sorts of accessories for this saddle bags oh there's just endless accessories you name it heated grips for when the old pinkies uh, you know re uh, require I think they also plumb into the bars and come out underneath here maybe I'm not sure and some of the other models they sort of run through the bars and there's a little hole in the bottom of the bars but not sure on this one. Let me know if you fitted them or had them fitted. What a pleasure to ride. Let's try the rear brake. We haven't tried the rear, have we? Very good. It's very good that rear lot. So there's nothing behind, so not causing any bother there. Nationals. Just fail that talk. 
soon as you open that throttle, regardless of what gear you're in, regardless of what gear, what else can we talk about? Suspension. Yeah, it's got Shera 47mm cartridge forks on the front and mono shop on the rear adjustable for your preload God, listen to that you could fall in love with this bike within I'd say half an hour at the most and I've only just been out 15 minutes 10 minutes wow <laughs> rain it in a little bit you get carried away quite easy on these bikes but yeah, like I say, the rear shock is adjustable for preload, but yeah, I think the suspension's fairly good. Don't know if you could probably bottom the front forks out if you braked a bit hard or went over a, uh, a big old pothole. Don't know what the travel is, but she sounds lovely. Yeah, let me know, like I say, let me know in the comments what you think. Could you see yourself riding one or test riding one? If so, get yourself out to your local dealer. I'm sure they'll oblige. Another thing what I like about the old Triumphs, I say old, it's a figure of speech, about the Triumphs is, you know, all of this attention to detail, as I've said it on many of my videos, you know, all of these little uh, logos and it's even got Bonneville on the, on the, on the, on the clock there. Not sure about the, you know, the, the, the cut there, the tar little wraps around the, the bars there, whether they could have done what they've done on the Rocket 3, you know, where they have to have the buttons Sorry, the buttons there, the cables running through the bars. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, running through the bars, hiding it. it looks very neat like that. Switch gear. Yeah, the usual information button there. Uh, that's your daytime running lights. I believe there. Uh, indicators not self-cancelling. I say cruise control button horn. Bit weedy. Bit of a weedy horn there. Nothing to worry about though. Oh, the tractor with a load of shite on the back. <laughs> Need to get out of his way. 16 inch wheels. Yeah. Overtake manoeuvre. Always rely on the Bonneville to get you through. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, the wheels, 16 inch wheels. Uh, 32 spoked front and rear chromed steel chromed absolute pleasure to ride pleasure to ride I was like we'll pull over in a bit so stay tuned actually we'll pull in here just round the corner when we come through the village I'll give you a thorough walk round of the bike I'm looking forward to that myself not really looked at it in the flesh for too long Hello, sir. Plenty of friendly bikers out today enjoying the day. Just would be nice for a little bit of sunshine to put to uh, break through the cloud there. Oh, keep out of his way. <laughs> I absolutely love the sound of this. <laughs> I think with the, the 270 degree crank, oh, you're getting a little pop there from the exhaust as well. We know, you know, when you're off the gas. You hear that? I don't know if the mic's picking that up, but Ooh, slow down a bit. <laughs> yes. I don't want to lean it over too far and scrape them old pegs. I think there's too much ground clearance there. Listen to that though. I think it's got a. 1,500 millimetre, um, what do you call it, um, wheelbase, contact patch. With a um, 25.3 degree rake. I'm just pulling over here actually, not to cause too much bother. Out the way, indicator on, nice and clear. And in we go. Lovely. Indicator off. Oh. Actually turn around down here. 
on the gravel, probably not the best, but there you go. Go nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> no problems with the turning circle there. Oh. Very nice. Alright, let's pull in. What's it like to find neutral? Get my balance. No problems with the neutral. Side stand, there's a nice little lug there on the side stand. Look at that. Beautiful. Give her a little uh, Sounds lovely. Okay. Let's turn her off and uh, we'll go through the specs. Oh. There we go. Right, so here we have it. The new Bonneville Speedmaster 2021 which is a liquid cooled 8 valve single overhead cam with a 270 degree crank angle parallel twin that looks a lovely lump in there doesn't it heart shaped uh, cover there on the crankcase yeah I love all this brushed uh, brushed um, stainless there uh, what we got then we got yeah, giving you 69.9 brake horsepower at 6,100 um, RPM and 106 newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. We've got these lovely chromed stainless steel two into two uh, or two skinned exhaust system with chrome stainless silencers. Look at these. Yeah, absolutely love them. I do actually like the brush the brush stainless look, but obviously this is going in with the. Um, you know the, the the iconic look of the uh, the Speedmaster. Uh, what we got then? We've got a wet multi-plate plate torque assist clutch, and you do notice that on your fingers. Ever so easy to uh, you know for the clutch operation there. Uh, Six-speed gearbox. Yeah, nice and smooth that. And we have, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I've already run through a lot of these specs, but I will go through them again just to be sure they're uh, they're right. So you've got 32 spoked. Uh, on the front and rear, 16-inch wheels there, very nice indeed, Avon tyres, Avon Cobras uh, tyres there, so you've got a 150 on the rear there, uh, 150 tyre there, very nice indeed, very nice, uh, suspension, yeah, 47mm as I said before, um, show a cartridge forks with the gaiters on there as well, um, non-adjustable those by the look of it, and on the rear we have the monoshock tucked away under there under the seat don't know if you can see that in there but uh adjustable for the preload i think as well the seat is non-adjustable although however very comfortable very very comfortable uh, and i'll tell you what i do love as well with this one um this uh two-tone color here with the hand painted lines as well i think very nice attention to detail there yeah very nice uh, as far as braking goes, we've got um, twin 310 millimeter discs, Brembo two piston slide and axle calipers. Obviously, uh, complete with ABS. Yeah, nice little Brembos in there. Lovely chromed wheels. Yeah, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Single disc on the rear. Let's go around this side. Single disc on the rear there. Again, uh, it's actually a Nissan. Nissin single piston slide and axle caliper there on the rear. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, um, seat height, very comfortable seat, uh, very comfortable there. I don't know what it would be like for the passenger on the rear there, uh, but 705 millimeter. And the wheelbase of the bike is, like I said earlier, 1,500 millimeter with a 25.3 degree rake, which is of the forks there, uh, giving you a trail of 91.4. What a load of waffle, eh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah let's carry on so 12 litre fuel tank with a claimed mpg of 60.9 miles per gallon according to uh, triumph's official website so yeah 263 kilograms is the wet weight of the bike um and you can't like I say you can't notice any of that you can't notice any of that so yeah the build quality very very good comes in three colors uh this is the sapphire black and the fusion white uh, coming in at 12,200 according to the website. Uh, there's two other colours, which is the jet black, which is 11,850 pounds, according to the website. And you've also got a red hopper, which is coming in at 12,050 pounds. So, yeah, a lot of bike there for the money, a lot of bike. 
Uh, let's have a little look at the the, um, the speedo. So it's an analog speedo with LCD multi-function display. So we'll just turn that on. Like I say, the key is down here. We'll just turn it on. There we go. Let's jump on the bike, make things a little bit easier. So yeah, a uh, few bits of information there on the uh, the LCD display. Total mileage there by the look of it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's for changing your modes, which is this button here. So road or rain. <coughs> I'll leave it on road because it's not raining. Hazards, hazard lights. Let's have a little look here. All the light and LED indicators and the rear light, everything. Uh, what we got here on the front. Lovely daytime running lights there as well. Is that daytime running lights? Looks like it's high beam. Let's turn that off to there. There you go. Look at that. Very nice. That's the uh, high beam, low beam. It's your flasher. So yeah, very bright that headlight. Very bright indeed. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I love I love all the attention to detail. This it even got a little um, spine along the front mud guard there. Yeah, very nice. Not sure about the carb, the fake carbs, but hey ho, we'll you know. I suppose it adds to the uh, you know the iconic look. See the old HT leads here, one each side. Very nice, very clean as well. Foot pegs here for your pillion passenger grab rail there on the back or you could hold on to your your uh, rider or lover <laughs> anyway uh, let's turn these hazards off i think we need to ride some more don't we so yeah i'll say the horn's a, horn's a little bit spindly you say if that's not if that's the right word okay like so i have i have fueled her up and there was no issues very simple um key in unlock and that is a threaded cap so you have to unthread it and then back in i'm not going to take it back off because there's no need and there was no problems with that attention to detail on there triumph motorcycles there very nice what else can i tell you lovely little battery box in here oh and another thing i was going to mention was these linkages i mean look at these you know being a foot forward uh riding position the cruiser it's uh yeah, got all of these linkages here to move the, everything forward on this side as well for your rear brake. Right, little uh, to save your pegs here. You got these little um, knobbly pieces on the end, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so anyway, let's jump back on and ride some more. Here we go. Oh, it's because of the side stand. <laughs> Try again. Stick her in at first, and away we go. Let's go this way. Oh, so it's a very enjoyable ride, isn't it? It's effortless. Completely effortless. Oh, it's an easy through here. What a lovely village it is. This is the village of uh, Watton. Just go over, oh no, it, uh, Hingham. Sorry. Just stealth my way through here, nice and quiet, not to cause any hassle. Yeah, it'll be a lovely, it's a lovely day. It's not cold, nice and warm. It's just we could do with a little bit of sunshine to poke through. Got another tractor there. Plenty of tractors out this way. But it's a good uh, opportunity to experience, you know, what the bike is like at low speeds. So, like I say, you get the best of four worlds coming, you know, road-wise. That's the general idea. We've already experienced the torque of the bike and, uh, the, you know, the performance but, uh, the bars uh, well, that's what I was gonna say the bars are a bit different to what I'm used to with the angle of the bars you know pulling towards you but I'm actually used to it already so it's not a problem I did look at it and think oh that's different but 
Now like I said, there's lots of different accessories. I think you could even change the bars actually. Just overtake here. No problems there. I'll like say you can just leave this in any gear pretty much and wind her open. That's in third gear there. Uh, it's a six speed box so we'll go up to sixth. There is a little indicator on there telling you what gear you're in, but yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I do appreciate you joining me today for this review, and uh, like I say, let me know what, what, what would you like to see, you know, see me take out and test ride. Leave, leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you all. There's lots of comments coming through, and uh, you know, I'll do my best to reply. I do enjoy reading them. And uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you're, uh, you know, if you're liking the video and the content. And I sort of aim to give you an all-round uh, overview of the bike, really. I mean, it's quite difficult because I don't actually have the bike for very long. Although he has let me have it for a bit longer today. But yeah, I like say if you haven't subscribed, I'd be much appreciated if you hit the old subscribe button and join the channel. So there's plenty more bike content coming. Hopefully you've got some good uh, video. I mean, the camera seems to be wobbling about a bit there. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. And I hope the audio's okay, because, like I say, it is a little bit windy. But, yeah, I am thoroughly enjoying the bike. Oh. Orgasmic. <laughs> Orgasmic. Skelton. I just love the sound of this. I could definitely fall in love with it. It's got a lovely lumbar support on the on the, on the seat there as well. Additional support for your lower lower back. And uh, you know, at my age, it's probably maybe the sort of thing what would do me. My lovely riding position here, and I actually do sound like I'm probably waffling on a bit here, but I'm just telling you, it, it, you know, as it is. I actually like the foot, feet forward riding uh, experience. Get yourself out test ride one. Let me know what you think. No, I'm sure uh... <laughs> it's definitely got some go. Definitely got some go. It's only 77 brake horsepower, or 76.9 according to the website, at 6,000 RPM. So that aside, it's uh, I think it's more, uh, you know, the torque is more to uh, get you excited. I certainly feel it. Right there. Yeah, well, uh, I'd like to say thanks for joining me again, and uh, I'll hopefully, hopefully hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, and uh, see you soon. <laughs>